Today I am officially 38 weeks pregnant. He's installed the car seat base. Feeling a little bit out of sorts in my body with so much changing constantly. Still having this little routine for myself has felt really nice. It's been a good experience though to advocate for myself, ask all the questions that I wanna ask and not be afraid to say what I want. I can't believe it's almost over. It's really so surreal. Welcome back my friends. Today I am officially 38 weeks pregnant. The baby is the size of a melon today. I am just about to go out for a walk walk. It's absolutely beautiful outside, really warm and really sunny, which honestly has just been such a mood booster lately. I'm going to do some curb walking because apparently that helps with getting the baby in the right position and kind of opening up your pelvis. A few friends actually recommended that to me and then I also saw a bunch of TikToks about it. Really quick, I actually just finished recording a podcast episode where I had answered a few Q&As from Instagram that people had for me. One of the questions was what I record on and sort of like my filming setup. The camera that I use is called a Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. I think that's the one. And I'll leave a link for the exact camera in the description as well. Another question that has come up a few times throughout my pregnancy is like, what are my plans for mat leave and having time off? And also what do I anticipate my content's gonna look like in the next chapter? To be honest, I don't have like a solid concrete answer to that question because I feel like my job is so flexible given that I'm self-employed and I can kind of set my own schedule that I don't necessarily see myself taking like a long stretch of time off. I did try to pre-record as much of the podcast episodes as I could because that's one thing that I do feel will be a bit of an adjustment. But other than that, filming, TikToks, Reels, YouTube videos and that kind of thing, I can do it in such a way that isn't really disruptive to my day-to-day -day life. So I definitely wanna have like a couple weeks where I'm not worrying about work and getting videos out. I have sort of paused some of my partnerships for the time being so that I don't have any like pressure to work on anything if it comes down to it and I feel like I just want a bit of a break. As for what my content will look like, I imagine much of the same, just like lifestyle, day-to-day -day living, outfits, books, that kind of thing. And maybe incorporated into my content will be any like insights in the new parenthood journey. But again, it's really hard to predict what that chapter will look like because I truly have nothing to compare it to. I don't know what it's gonna be like. I don't know what the adjustment is going to be like. All that to say, I do still plan on being active online and keeping up with all of my channels, my podcasts and everything. It's interesting because even talking to my midwife yesterday, it's not just the next phase of like parenthood that you just have no idea what it's gonna be like. I kind of feel the same with childbirth. Because it's my first time, she was talking about different pain management options and Jamie had kind of asked like, what do you think you're gonna go for? And I just said like, it's so hard to predict when I literally have no idea what it's going to be like. My mentality with everything has just been open-mindedness, being willing to do whatever makes sense, whatever feels good in the moment, not being so attached to any one particular outcome, whether that's a home birth, a hospital birth, unmedicated, medicated, I think doing whatever I feel comfortable with and just being completely unattached to the outcome. I think that's the best case scenario because in the past in different situations, just being super attached to something looking one type of way has not always set me up for success. And I have heard a lot of people say that with childbirth, just to be gentle on yourself and not put too much pressure on yourself to have a specific type of birth and for things to go a certain way because it's just so unpredictable. I just got back from my walk having a little bit of red raspberry leaf tea had a really really lovely walk. I will say I was feeling a lot of sensation. Honestly a little bit of cramping, nothing painful, but I feel like I would get that a lot if I was like walking on the treadmill even in early pregnancy and I'm definitely just feeling it a lot more now especially when I do like the curb walking. I think that I'm gonna try to go run a few errands, just a couple of little things to pick up. I want to get some organizers for our diaper station and maybe a couple of those like 
barefooted sleepers. When I was organizing the baby's clothes and closet and everything a couple weeks ago, I realized that we didn't have many of those. And a lot of people said like that's the one thing that they wear a lot of in sort of the newborn phase. So just wanting to go check out a couple stores to see if we can pick some up. I'm gonna try to convince Jamie to come with me and I feel like he is going to go to the gym. I think I'm gonna pass today because I already went on quite a long walk. I'm starting to feel like maybe in the next week or so I will pause my gym membership because obviously I'm not gonna be able to go after for a while. I don't think it'd be a bad idea to just put it on pause and wind down a little bit and just keep up my walks. Also a little update, he's installed the car seat base. Was it difficult? No, it was incredibly easy. It was just straightforward. Literally just like two plastic bits. Right. And then that's it. That's pretty much it. That's done, ready to go? Done, ready to go. I heard someone doing this on a podcast where they ask questions about like the baby. Okay, let me just do it because it's hard to explain. Basically, I'm going to say a question and then on one, two, three, we have to answer it. But it's like kind of related to babies. The first question is who came up with the names for the baby? Three, two, one. Both me. of us. No way! I came up with the names as well. For the boy? I came up with Don't say it. The boy's name we've always kind of agreed upon. The boy's middle name is Jamie's middle name. Or wait. No, my Jamie's boy. name. <laughs> James. My real name. Yeah, what about I the girl's name? So. I feel like I kind of came... Like, where did that come from? I don't even remember. I can't remember either. You ready for this one? Okay. Which parent is going to be a bit... <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, you. you. <laughs> uh, your mom watches these, so... <laughs> Who is going to spoil our child the most? Three, two, one, Me. you. <laughs> I can't think of any more. Okay. Well, nice. there's fun. our little trivia. Just having some breakfast. I sometimes like to mix Greek yogurt with chocolate protein powder. And then I'm going to add some of the granola that I made last week. Oh my gosh, I had such a bad sleep last night. I was so uncomfortable. Might have had something to do with the fact that I had a caffeinated beverage at like 3 p.m. And honestly, it's hit and miss. Sometimes that doesn't really affect me, but last night, these are the onesies that we got yesterday. This is actually a three month, but I kind of feel like the newborn ones are so tiny and I feel like they'll only use them for like a very short period of time. So we got a mix. That's the first one. And then Jamie picked out this one. This is a newborn one and it's so small. And then this is another one of Jamie's picks. That one's kind of like a waffle knit, which I really like. And they're all zippered because apparently that's the best. I didn't find the organizers that I was looking for, but I might just order those online. I just got back from a walk with my mom. It's another beautiful day. We went on a nice long walk. And I just wanted to show you. First of all, I can't believe that this coat still fits me. But I feel like that's the benefit of buying oversized things. Everything that I bought pre-pregnancy, like my style in general, is very oversized. So with a lot of my jackets and vests and sweaters, they still fit me. These pants though, I got them like right at the beginning of my pregnancy. They're kind of like a cargo pant and they're from Uniqlo. They have been one of my favorite things to wear because... I mentioned that I didn't really get a lot of maternity stuff. I've mainly just been wearing like leggings and sweatpants, but sometimes you want something a little bit more like structured. These have been amazing. Here's another view. I know, I know an unusual sight seeing me in something other than my bathrobe or a hoodie. I've actually been feeling very inspired in the last little while to get back into like making outfits and stuff. I just feel like being pregnant, I haven't had a lot of selection because they didn't buy really any maternity clothing. And so I was down to very few 
especially pants that fit me and i think because of that i just was not putting any effort into getting dressed i don't know i just like recently was like you know what i'm just gonna use what i have i'm gonna get creative i've been sharing my outfits actually on instagram and tiktok just to kind of encourage myself to keep getting ready and that's been making me feel really good i think also i've just been feeling kind of gross and not really wanting to like leave and do a lot of things so getting dressed has been kind of just a little outlet for me to just have something to do i actually recently made a video about reorganizing my closet and getting a little bit more in touch with my personal style and i had so much fun doing that and the other day i somehow came across this app it's called wearing i've started the process of uploading some of my clothing so these are things that i actually own in my closet and then you can kind of like mix and match different outfits so it will give you just like different combinations to try now i am the type of person to hyper fixate on something like this and just like document every single thing that i have in my closet and then get really excited about it probably for like a week a month and then i'll maybe forget about it but i don't know who knows maybe i'll continue to enjoy doing it i started doing that last night and it's given me a lot of inspiration for building outfits and stuff and i don't know i think just feeling a little bit out of sorts in my body with so much changing constantly still having this little routine for myself has felt really nice i think part of me is also just kind of looking forward to being able to wear a little bit more of my wardrobe once i have the baby and things start to fit me again so i think my little problem project for today is to keep going through and adding things from my closet most of these things i screenshotted from online like i just found the product online but of course a lot of my wardrobe is not online because like they're thrifted or they're older things i'm gonna take a bunch of photos of my outfits today and upload them onto the app i just like to have little projects like this because I feel like otherwise I'll just like sit around and just be like anticipating and constantly waiting for the baby to come and in the past few days for whatever reason that just has felt like a little bit overwhelming to constantly be like okay when's it gonna happen and of course like everyone is wondering the same thing and you're just kind of like anticipating that it's almost like I need a little distraction just to keep my mind busy <laughs> behind the scenes of what goes into filming TikToks and Reels. Okay, so I've taken everything out of my closet and now I'm just gonna go through each of the items one by one, hang them on this like white wall and take photos. Okay, so there's the photo I just took and I'm gonna see if it looks half decent when I try to upload it to the app. So that's what it looks like. It's not bad, not the best, but it'll do for now. This is why I so rarely get around to like selling secondhand clothing because I hate taking photos of the clothing. I don't know why. I wasn't doing because I was using my phone to record but what I like to do for tasks like this closet organization cleaning anything in general is just have like a good podcast or a good book it actually really becomes quite satisfying and has made me look forward to doing stuff like this Okay, back in our natural habitat wearing sweatpants. I finished uploading the majority of my closet onto the app, which is so satisfying. There are so many fun things you can do with this app, which I'm excited to try out. But honestly, just having a visual for some of my outfits, I feel is gonna be super helpful. And I feel like more and more with thinking about becoming a parent, what that chapter is going to entail, I'm trying to simplify and streamline as much as I possibly can. And I feel like getting dressed has always been something that's kind of overwhelming to me and sometimes just like not very enjoyable but I don't know like with things like this I feel a little bit more creative and it feels like more of a self-expression and I can feel a little bit more confident making outfits and just having a visual like I said really helps one thing that going through like my whole closet made me think about though 
was that I want like a steamer. I read this book, which I've talked about before on here and on my podcast. It's called Wear It Well by Alison Bornstein. She talks about all sorts of different things related to closet organization. But one thing she kind of shares is like taking care of what you own and, you know, treating it with care so that when you put it on, it feels nice. It hangs nice. It's not wrinkled. And I have never owned an iron or a steamer in my life. I really don't know if I would use something like that because to be honest, like my laziness usually trumps my desire to have unwrinkled clothing. But going through everything definitely made me want to kind of like take care of what I own and recognize how much I actually do have. And that really helps me to avoid overconsumption is going through what I have and like seeing how I can put things together and how I can care for the things that I have and like increase the longevity. I also have never really taken things to the dry cleaner or like for adjustments. So maybe that will be the next step of my sort of closet and style journey. So I just started using a new bronzing product on my face. It's not like a self tanner or anything it's just something you put on underneath makeup sort of similar to the drunk elephant bronzy drops but just a cheaper version and I didn't realize just how bronzed my face is in comparison to the rest of my body until I just went to film a bump update so there's your jump scare warning I feel like the shape is kind of changing you can see more of like a indentation here and I just feel like every day things are getting a little bit lower and a little bit lower nothing like really noticeable just again really minor changes day to day i was just going to veg for the rest of the day but as you can see it's like really sunny i have a hard time resisting going outside when it's this nice i also know that walking during this phase is going to be really helpful and i've really enjoyed my walks i find that as soon as i get out the door i'm like okay yeah happy to be here it's just getting out <laughs> that is sometimes a struggle. This was one of the things in my closet that I kind of forgot about, this leather jacket, but it's actually quite warm, nice and oversized. So that's the nice thing about documenting what's in your wardrobe is you actually remember that you have certain things that you forgot about. And just in case it cools down, I think I'm gonna do a toque or beanie, whatever you prefer. Now, what shoes do I want to wear? I think I'll do these. These are, I believe, New Balance 5. 30. This was probably my favorite shoe of 2023. I love them so much. They're so comfortable. I've gotten so much wear out of them. And personal opinion, some people think they're ugly. I think they look really nice with like any outfit. One of the joys of being pregnant is putting on shoes. I am at the stage where Jamie does it for me a lot of the time, but he is not here right now. I saw this recipe the other day for like peanutty udon noodles and I've been craving it ever since. So that's what I'm gonna make for dinner. And honestly, I'm just listening to ASMR right now. I usually only listen to ASMR when I'm like about to go to bed, but occasionally I'll be doing chores and I don't know, I don't really feel like listening to like a podcast or something, so. Okay, we all know the drill by now. Red raspberry leaf tea. Is this doing anything? I don't know. I was supposed to have my 39 week midwives appointment today. My midwives decided that they wanted to do a home visit because I had mentioned to them that I was wanting to consider the option of staying at home if I feel more comfortable here. I don't think I've ever talked about this, but basically when I first got midwives, I had two. Now halfway through my pregnancy, one of the midwives that was on my team quit or I guess like just took a leave of absence. So then I just had one for a while. And then within the last couple of months, I got a new midwife. So now I have two again. And I was on the phone with the newer one last night, I believe. And I was just thinking about how big of a difference it's made to have a team that make me feel comfortable, that I can ask questions about, that I can like advocate for myself with. I really, really like both of my midwives and that makes me feel so comfortable about the prospect of giving birth with them being there. And I was just thinking about how big of a difference it really makes to have people that are like kind, answer your questions and don't make you feel like an idiot. I don't know. I 
feel like I've experienced that before where I just feel uncomfortable sometimes or to advocate or vouch for myself or what I want for let's say like childbirth or different aspects of healthcare. I was actually talking to my mom about how I've observed my people pleasing tendencies kind of coming up throughout my pregnancy journey and that I've been a little bit timid to ask certain questions or to like say no to certain things or to ask for certain things or to like change plans. I wasn't planning on having a home birth at all for the first like half of my pregnancy. And then when I started to think a little bit more about it and I was like, maybe I want to at least be open to this option. Part of me was like, I don't want to bother my midwives and like change the plan. It's been a good experience though, to advocate for myself, ask all the questions that I want to ask and not be afraid to say what I want and kind of set myself up for feeling comfortable and feeling good about this whole journey. Also, you may remember that I said, I had this feeling that I was going to go into labor between 37 and 39 weeks. Clearly that has not happened. Whenever the baby comes is the right time. I really don't wanna put pressure on that whole experience and like rush through these last few days or few weeks. So we're still here. We'll see if I'm here again sharing next week. I will keep you posted on everything. If it's not another YouTube video, then it will be on TikTok or Instagram, so stay tuned. This has been such a fun, enjoyable experience to share these last few weeks and to share this whole journey. I can't believe it's almost over. It's really so surreal, but thank you for being here and for watching and for your support and your kind words. I really appreciate it. So whenever my next video is, I will see you in that one.